Okay, he uh, shot to national attention as the witty acerbic anchor of Weekend Update on Saturday Night Live. Now he's starring in a brand new movie out called Dirty Work. Here's Norm MacDonald. Is here. Norm's hey. so much in the news every right time I turn around. What? Oh, You're me in the news. Yes. Yeah, I know. Hotter than ever. Yeah. My gosh. Looks like they did you a big favor over there at NBC. Yeah, huh? they hate me. <laughs> oh, but look what happened to you. Became what? a movie star, just that's, like that. Yeah, that's true. But haven't you already started filming this movie long before that whole controversy began? Yeah, 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 yeah. So what, what do you make of all this? Uh, what, what, what do you, I make of yeah, it? Yeah, what's the point? Well, the point what of what? What are trying to make? You uh, know, two. I, <laughs> oh, um... So you got to explain to the people. No, right they now. read the papers. They know. Yeah, they know that NBC has banned uh, promotion or commercials featuring your movie uh, yeah. on, on their network. Yeah, because so. this character, Don Olmeyer, he's the president of NBC, you see? Yeah. And he hates me. Yeah. <laughs> but you've only met him one time, I understand. I've only met him once. So this is not a personal thing, reason that he hates you. Because... Yes, he hates me personally. <laughs> But you like him, don't you? I think he's a fair enough fella. I met him once. He seems like a stand-up guy. Yeah. I don't hate anybody. That's you right. know Don Olmeyer? I've met him a couple of times, sure. He yeah. seems like a nice enough yes, fella. Yes, absolutely. And uh, I don't, you know, put it this way. He, his, his best friend is O.J. Simpson, right? <laughs> now, if you can like O.J. Simpson, you can like me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I wonder what it is about. I mean, he's a, he has his foibles, don't okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. you? Don't we all? <laughs> I love that word, foibles. <laughs> Although I think O.J. is kind of re rehabilitating himself. Did you see where he's stabbing that woman with a banana? Have you seen that? At least that one doesn't That's really a lot hard. better. That's, you know, that's not it's a step sharp forward. It's a it? step forward. Yeah. Let's talk about you now. Let, let me ask you something. Yes, Another sir. guy from Canada has come and invaded show business here yeah. in the United States. With an acerbic wit. So many funny guys come out of Canada. What is it about Canada that produces all these comedians? What do you think it is? Um, I don't know, because when I'm in Canada, no one's funny. <laughs> you think it's the long, dark, cold winters? You just got to find yeah, something to laugh yeah. about? Yeah, we don't have dark winters. We well, don't live in the Arctic Circle. <laughs> but they're long, aren't they? They're long and cold, yeah. and they're cold. And really cold. Yeah, they're cold. <laughs> so when you're a kid up in Canada... I don't want to put too fine a point on it, but they're cold. <laughs> yeah. When you're a kid growing up in Canada... Yes, sir. You, you see American TV? Yes. I used to watch you on the Joey Bishop show. Is that right? Yeah, I'm when... 60. <laughs> <laughs> and you're 60? Now that's funny. You like that, huh, Barry? Barry, our camera uh, <laughs> Well, that's good. So I inspired you, or Joey inspired you, then to become a comedian, huh? Joey. Joey, Joey Bishop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Chevy Chase, I understand, was the guy you I love Chevy, you know, and as a kid watching Saturday Night Live, yeah. Chevy was always my favorite guy. So then when I wrote this movie, I put Chevy in it. I put all the guys I loved. Chevy, the great Don Rickles, yeah, sure. the funniest guy ever. Yeah. And Chris Farley's in it, all the guys I love. That's now, this great. is the last movie Chris made, right? This is the last one he made. Yeah. Mm. Were you real close friends with him? Yeah, he was a great, great man. He was always funny. You ever have him here on the show? I yes, we, we did. had Chris yeah. on the show. We had uh, we had a Mother's Day segment once where we had, some, or did I see that on your show where the mothers of the stars came out? That was this. You know, I watch your show a lot. It was either on Saturday your show or you saw alone. it on television. Yeah, I just can't. Remember. Well, from time to time, we've had the folks on from Saturday yeah, Night Live. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when you've been on for as many years as we yeah. have. You yeah. can't remember really where you ever met anybody. <laughs> well, let me tell you about you. What I loved about you, in addition to Bob Dole, oh, yeah. Bob Dole says no. <laughs> he does the greatest impression of Burt Reynolds doing Celebrity Jeopardy. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, it's a classic. A classic. Chew the gum. Chewing the gum and gum, yeah. watching the MC, you know, and yeah. then coming out with his own yeah. uh, real quick, making right. his decision. He just says it real quick. It's great stuff. Great he says stuff. like, uh... He, was, he says everything real slow and cool, you know? Yeah. Like he'd go, if he was, was here, he'd go, uh, Regis, uh, you're a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> and that'd be it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, so true. <laughs> he snaps that little face yeah. to Yeah. Yeah. He's I, the coolest. I miss him and I miss uh, uh, Dole. And what was the other classic? Oh. Larry King, you too. Oh, yeah, I love doing now, Larry Reach, King. Now, Rich, do your Larry King Let's one. hear you. Larry. Here's this my Larry King. King. All right. It's going to be quick, but right to the point. Baby. All right. And don't steal this from me. All right. Larry King on the phone. All right. Altoona, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's
Let's give the kid a break. That's it. No, I don't do him from his radio show. I just do him from the, because uh, he has his article in USA Today. His column. Yeah. His yeah. column. Yeah. And all it is is, he just, anything he thinks of, he yeah, writes right. it down. Sure. His yeah. thoughts. Yeah. Okay, his thoughts. Yeah, okay, and they're just thoughts. like completely random. Like he'll go like, uh, blue is a great color, but for my money, yellow is the best. <laughs> <laughs> It's like crazy. <laughs> That's all it's supposed Larry. to make you think. Yeah, it makes you think. Because I don't care what anybody says, Hitler was a bad man. <laughs> no one disagrees with that. Of course not. What's the matter with Larry? Doesn't he know that? Well, yeah. what did you take? What he proposed you... to me once. Really? <laughs> what did he say? Just on commercial break, he asked me if I'd like to be his next wife. <laughs> <laughs> what did you take it when he said, I don't, is this bragging for me to say I don't take Viagra? What do you make of something like who, that? Who doesn't take Viagra? Larry King in his column recently wrote, really? is it bragging to say I don't take Viagra? I'd love to take that Viagra. <laughs> this, is, this is what's odd to me about Viagra. It's only for impotent guys, yeah. right? And it lets you have sex for like four hours. And so meanwhile, who's the guys that can have four hour sex? The impotent guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not fair. It's not fair. We got a pause. We'll come right back with more. Of Monday on Live, Joan Rivers. Now, let's talk about this new, new, new movie called Dirty Work. Dirty Work. Yeah, Somebody's got to do it. I read yeah. the synopsis of it. It sounds, yeah. sounds like a lot of fun. Two guys who just can't seem to get it together, right? Yeah, we can't get it together, so we, the only thing we're good at is getting back at people. Yeah. So we open a revenge for hire business. Uh-huh. Yeah. I like this. Yeah, yeah, this is good. So if you need revenge, you see, you'd come to me and I'd figure out a revenge. <laughs> let's suppose there was somebody that uh, was getting, you know, was a mean, you know, then you... Treating would... you unfairly. Exactly. I would come to you and say, I want revenge. Yes, and I'd figure out a way to get you revenge. Well, you do this in the movie to, uh, to Don Rickles, don't you? Yeah, Don Rickles was great. Well, what did he do to deserve some revenge? He was just Don Rickles. <laughs> what I love is that I read that you wrote insults for him. He didn't like him at all. He wrote his own insults. Yeah, he just did. We just said, do whatever you want. Yeah, you can't. And he just insulted us. And it was great because uh, he... Uh, it's funny when he insults you and it makes no sense. Yeah. You know? Like, he'll just go up to you and go... Listen, uh, why don't you go to why don't you go to Alaska and live in a shed with a rake? <laughs> and you go, what does that mean? That? You're talking to the right person. He thinks he I loves love Don Rickles. Oh, it's a great oh, yeah, God. Funny. As a matter of fact, we have a clip from the movie featuring uh, Don. Oh, great. Let's look right. at it. Let's take a look at a scene from Dirty Work, Norm MacDonald and Don Rickles. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Because I called your friend the fat pig, huh? I think that's funny. Oh, no, I was just laughing uh, earlier when you were talking to his belly. She get a horse and live in the mountains someplace and don't bother anybody. Got a personality like a dead moth. Okay. The fun's over. Anybody messes this thing up for me tonight is through. Not only are you fired, your life is over. I'll see to it that you never work again and that you wind up tearing tickets off in Kuwait. Salam alaikum And everybody sucking sand? Nobody messes up. You understand me? Don't mess up. <laughs> Have a nice day. He happens to be one of the sweetest guys in the world. That's the irony yeah, of it. You yeah. know, he really is. So you like acting, huh? So this could be the beginning of a whole new career for you. Yeah. Just like Chevy, left Saturday Night Live, went out to Hollywood, became big movie right. star. Well, acting is tough. I mean, uh, one of the toughest things is you don't have your own name. Like, my name's Norm, yeah. as you well know. Sure. And uh, my character's name in the movie was Mitch, you see? Uh -huh. So in the scenes, like, a guy would say to me, uh, would say, uh, uh, hey, we better get going, Mitch. And I go, huh? <laughs> and then they go, cut, cut, yeah, right. you know? You're not used to this. Right. So then the next time they go, uh, uh, yeah, uh, let's get going, man. We got to get going, Mitch. And I go, yes, yes, me, Mitch. All right, let's get going. I'm Mitch. And then they go, cut. Uh. And Bob Saget directed this. Right? Yeah, well, you know, there's bad news and everything. <laughs> <laughs> How is young Saget? Is he's he's actually right over there. Right over there. Yeah. 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 Bob Saget. Yeah. 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 Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yeah. Right over there. 
Right over there, mate. Guys, yeah. 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 Nice to see you two guys survive making this movie together. Well, Nor Nor Bob's a great man. Bob's a great man. And a good woman. We've been together for a while. <laughs> And now he's a big movie director. He's a big movie director. If, tell, it's, a, if it's a big movie. Tell him what, uh, tell, <laughs> tell him what Rickles uh, said to you when he first met you about what Scorsese. Oh, Rickles uh, actually said, uh, Bob, you're very, very tall. You're very tall. Martin, Martin's very short. Very short man. That was it. <laughs> no, Martin. Remember Martin Scorsese met you when he first heard? He said, I'll do it. I don't remember. He said, uh, you know, Rickles meets him and he goes, you know, because uh, he did uh, uh, Casino with uh, Martin yeah, Scorsese. Sure. And he goes, uh, I just talked to Martin and I told him uh, you were my next director. And he went, ah! Oh, that's <laughs> he left me a message. He called me at my office and he said, uh, I don't understand. He left these messages. He said, I hit two in pound and I hit three in pound. I don't know how your Jew spaceship works. <laughs> Says, call me Saget, I miss you, Don Rickles. It's very funny. How is he as an actor? Uh, what He's really think? good. Yeah? Think he is. Should? Yeah, I think the man is incredibly talented. I'm not just saying that because we have a movie opening on June 12th. <laughs> No, he's really, he's, he's in full commitment. He says he wouldn't answer to, you know, the name Mitch, but he did. Yeah, yeah. Not to me, but to other people. Well, well, you gave it 100%, huh? Now, can yeah. this guy become a romantic leading man in the movies? Yeah, he turns me on. <laughs> no, I, I think, I, I, all kidding aside, I've talked to a lot of uh, ladies. A lot of, lot of ladies, and they all say they find this man very sexy, and they think it's... They like, they love his eyes. beautiful eyes. Oh, beautiful eyes. They twinkle. <laughs> and he's got those Tom Selleck dimple things happening. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the new Tom yeah. Selleck, absolutely. He's got the little wavy hair thing happening. Yeah. yeah. I think you're getting to Kathy Lee. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. All right, so it opens on June 12th, right? June 12th. All right, Friday. Guys. Yeah. Good luck to you, man. Thank you very nice much. Nice to have you here. Young Saget, good to see you, baby. Good to see you. We'll be right back with Mrs. Green Thumbs. Come on.